Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel today. I'm coming to you from the walled garden at Babington House. I can't say I've ever done a video inside a walled garden, but for good reason, I am doing a review of a new jacket. It is the brand new N1 deck jacket from Ironheart and it's in black and I absolutely am in love with it. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Right, first and foremost, you may be asking yourself, uh, why, Cameron, are you buying another N1 deck jacket? Don't you own one from Real McCoy's? Well, yes, I did, but I actually sold it. And I think I uh, said on my previous video of that, of that N1 deck jacket from Real McCoy's that it was super comfortable and I would never sell it, uh, but I did. And the reason why is a jacket needs to be comfortable and functional both at the same time. Now, I bought that jacket because uh, it was warm. I, I bought it online secondhand, so it was at a discount. Uh, but when it arrived and when I did a video for you guys, the hand warm pockets were just didn't sit right with me. They were a bit high uh, and I just didn't know if that's how M1 deck jackets were. So I thought I'd wait till this season and try another brand on. And I was really surprised to see that uh, Ironheart, for instance, had tweaked the pockets and the pockets were in a better position. And it was super comfortable. So the M1 from Real McCoy's had to go. Right, so now you know why I sold my Real McCoy's M1 deck jacket. So why the Ironheart de deck jacket? Well, as you know, I love Ironheart. Uh, I think all the products they make are uh, incredible. They last you a long, long time. Uh, so I was waiting for this one to come out to try on uh, in both sizes of medium and large, just that's my two sizes, just to see how it'll work in winter. I tried on the large and this is a large uh, and it was, it's a little bit uh, roomy, I would say. It, it, I can go both sizes. I went to medium and I went to large. Uh, medium fits nice and actually the guys at Ribbon Hyde said medium is good. Uh, you don't need anything underneath it, super warm, etc. But I just had that feeling that I wanted to wear things underneath it. For instance, this, this, uh, this is a knit from Uniqlo uh, and this is underneath and I'm not too hot at the minute. Uh, so I went the large and I think that's the best decision. Now my only fear with the N1 going in a really bigger size is does it look baggy and big? It feels, it certainly feels it. it's very padded and very, you feel like you've got a big, big jacket on, but when you look in the mirror, it doesn't. It looks very, very trim, I still think. It has tabs on the side that you can bring in to make it even uh, you know, slimmer as well. Uh, so the look is still very trim, very uh, slim fitting, even though I went for the large one and I can uh, you know, layer underneath it. The other thing I find really, really cool with this, other than the alpaca lining, it's got quilted satin, satin quilted uh, lining uh, through the sleeves as well. So I'll show you that in the B-roll, but you've got alpaca lining and then satin quilt. So it just has that nice kind of air of luxury about it. It's got the lovely alpaca lining up on the top and obviously it's got your throat latch as well. And that brings me to another reason about the sizing. A lot of times you'll buy a jacket that has these kind of functional bits like throat, uh, latches, etc. But because of your sizing, you're buying a medium, you're buying uh, you know, a, a tailored fit. You, you'll never be able to do that up. Because this is a winter jacket and I want it to be functional, I wanted to be able to do this up in winter. Uh, and that's why I went the large. And I can do it up because it's, it's, it's large. Uh, so for me, it was all about functionality uh, over kind of fashion, if that makes sense. Now again, I'll say sizing is pretty much up to you. You can probably fit two different sizes. For me, it's a medium and a large, but it was down to the fact that I wanted to layer and I wanted to be able to wear jumpers, flannels, all that stuff underneath it during the winter. I did try the medium on, as I said, and the medium fits perfectly. It looks great, but I would only really be able to wear a t-shirt and a thin jumper. Now that is all well and good, as I said, if you just wanna wear it around town, because this is a super, super warm uh, coat. Like it is very warm, you know, I've been wearing it here in the country and as soon as I go inside where there's heating, it, I'm sweating, you need to take it off. So just take that into consideration, keep that in the back of your mind, what your actual use case for the jacket is gonna be. The other thing I really love is this collar with the alpaca lining on it. It's just so warm, it's so smooth, it's so lovely. And that's why another reason why I really am glad that I got the larger size because the larger size makes collar larger and obviously makes it be able to go around my my neck and obviously my uh you know the storm cuff can storm latch can be added as well which is just such a good thing and I don't think I would have been able to do that if I had the medium so you might be saying Cameron it's just a jacket what's so good about it well it's made from cotton whipcord which is extremely 
durable and also very wind resistant. The lining here is alpaca lining, which if you haven't had alpaca lining before, it's extremely, extremely warm. Like I'm talking very warm. That extends through to the hand warm pockets and also obviously the collar lining here. It's also got really luxurious satin quilted, uh, you know, arms as well. So they've put a lot of thought and detail into building this thing. And that brings me to the price. It's not a cheap jacket. This jacket retails for 750 US dollars or 622 great British pounds. Now that is not cheap by any means. And for a lot of people that is just too expensive. And you know, a lot of people will probably look on the secondary market, but I can tell you this, if you buy this jacket, it'll last you many, many years. So that's why I say put in your research, try the medium, try the large, try the extra large, try all the sizes in your range and make an informed, make an informed purchase because it's an expensive jacket but it's a jacket that will last you a lifetime so think about how many winter coats you buy maybe every two or three seasons this jacket will probably last you 10 seasons so you will make your money back especially if you know your your winter coat that you buy every couple of years is you know two or three hundred dollars this is going to make up for it in the coming years trust me hello youtube future cameron here i'm now a week back from Somerset and back now in Essex and I had a few more thoughts about the jacket that I just wanted to add. I do realize that in Somerset it was cold, it wasn't that cold. It was it was actually warmer than I expected to be honest. But now since I've been back, I've been back a week here and as you can see we've got blue skies. It's autumn, almost winter, so it's been extremely cold. We had a, a night here of I think it got down to minus two degrees Celsius. I know that's not the coldest for you people in Northern America, but cold enough. So I've been wearing this jacket out pretty much like I am now out in this park. And as you can imagine, this park gets really, really cold. So I did realize that I'm very, very happy that I got the larger uh, jacket because I had to wear a hoodie underneath this uh, earlier in the week. And uh, it just proved to be such a comfortable versatile jacket that I can wear a hoodie underneath a flannel as well like I've got today and just be not restricted in any way whatsoever so if there's one thing I can say to you is if you're thinking about getting this jacket from Ironheart uh, I would highly recommend trying it on think about what you want to use it for you know it's, it's a cold weather jacket so think about that there's probably two sizes that fit you. And I personally would go for the larger of the, of the two sizes, just so you can do this in winter. Just my two cents. Right, so I'm, I've been trying to think about any downsides or negatives to the jacket. I know it's very cliche to say that this jacket doesn't have any downsides, but hear me out. I've only been living with the jacket for a couple months. I've, a couple months, no, only a couple weeks. I've only been wearing this for the last three weeks, I think. So I haven't really had enough time to formulate any negatives about it yet one downside i can think of that's kind of a positive downside if that makes sense is it's so well built like the thing is made just super super well it's got bar tacking all over it it's not going to rip anytime soon and it just looks and feels like it can take a punishment so that means that i can't see this thing falling apart anytime soon so i'm never really going to have to rebuy an N1 deck jacket unless I just wanted another color. And that is another thing. The colors are, are really good. This is a black, obviously. So this goes with pretty much everything, but I would have loved the khaki, the, the quintessential N1 color, navy or khaki. Uh, so, and there is an olive one as well. So that, that looks really good. So my downside there is that this was put together so well that there's no chance of me actually needing to buy another N1 anytime soon. But, you know, I may lose weight, I may put on weight in the future, but at least this, this has got space in it for me to put on weight. It's got room to move. And as I said, highly recommend you try a larger size so you can layer like I have. 
Right, YouTube, that is going to be it. Hope you enjoyed that video of the Ironheart M1 deck jacket in black. If you did like that video, drop a comment down below and also uh, give me a thumbs up because I really appreciate that when you do that. And if you're new around here and haven't hit that red subscribe button, please hit that button. It really helps me bring content like this to you guys in the future. And with all that being said, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.